I know. <laughs> so one thing that I haven't come on here and said yet is why we're actually coming up to Noosa. One more thing I do just want to clarify for the vlog. Do you support me going to the wedding? TV while dad and I gather everything together. We're pretty well ready to go, which is awesome. Sleeping update, babe. How are we going? It was great for me last night. Yeah, Curdy last night. It was definitely well deserved because I feel like the last few nights she's really been wanting Kurt. And last night, you got a full night's sleep up in our bed, didn't you, babe? Yes, it's mainly my back is so good with that mattress. I know, but I actually had you were not a bad night with Regan which was really nice. What ended up happening last night, so usually I'll put her into bed with me guys and she'll just be like, I want to get out, I want to get out and we want to be in her own cot. So then we have to lay next to her and put her arm in, like pat her off to sleep, lay on the carpet. We've ended up rearranging her room and chucking a mattress on the floor here and last night she actually slept with me the whole night here on the mattress and let me cuddle her. So that was so nice and we both had a really good night's sleep. She would literally just like wake up, check I was still there and then go back off. So, so nice to feel like we've finally found something that's working and that she's actually letting me sleep next to her. So no, sleeping arrangements still are not ideal, but also that is so much better than being up every 45 minutes and like going up and down from upstairs, trying to like get some sleep rather than sleeping on the floor. So like this is what is working for now. This is not the long-term goal. This is the short-term goal so everyone can get some rest and to just kind of comfort her while she's going through this phase. So just keep trialing some different things, but we're going away today. So I'm sure that that's going to be changing things up a little bit for her as well, but she's going to be in our room with us. So we've got our porta cot and then I said to her, if she wakes up, we'll just chuck her in bed. So that's kind of the plan of attack. When we're on holidays, we just want to enjoy it. We want to make it as cruisy as possible. But I know so many of you guys are feeling me on the sleep regression. So yeah, I really just want to try to update you guys on the sleeping situation. So we kind of have a plan of attack for this morning, but it depends on how early we leave. Cause I was like, if we leave too early, things won't be open. Basically our plan was to stop halfway somewhere. There's somewhere where we want to go up there, but I need to see what time it opens. Ah! A crystal place. The kids will love it. So we might do that on the way. Yeah, it depends it's open, right? Because it's open. So I was thinking of before when I was upstairs, I was like, we're going to see the opening time. Mm. But yeah, I, I, I can't imagine Regan lasting three hours straight in the car. I think an hour and a half will cope. I think three hours we're pushing it. So I think we we'll definitely we we'll definitely stop and like let them out, run around, play okay. somewhere, get some food. Every 20 minutes, we'll get out. I'll try it for putting a movie on. Are you sharing a seat? Oh. Uh, do you want to share one with me? I'm going to have my coffee. Pardon you. She's eating Ling's toast. Coffee time. Woohoo. Although, after last night, I don't actually feel like that hectic, so it's good. It's so good. Are you excited? You get a few days off school. Yeah. Yesterday I told them that I was going to go on holiday and they got so sad and they said, I'll miss you, Mila. Aww. And they all just came over and gave me a big group cuddle. Aww. You'll see them on Thursday. Yeah. Bye bye, darling. We'll see you soon. I'm going to miss you. Oh, Macy, you still in bed. Are you still in bed? Bye bye, honey. I love you. We'll see you in a few days, okay? We'll see you in a few days. And I'm sure you're going to get spoiled rotten because grandma's coming to stay. So nice, like when you have someone staying in your house when you go away. Because I worry so much about them. Like Macy fully frets when we go. Love you. Love you. Car nice and packed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still. Little, little section there for her to watch I've had. Amazing. You guys ready? alarm's going off. We're officially about an hour in and we're having our first toilet stop. I have so long to go. I know. It is a bit of a drive, but it's going to be worth it. Do you reckon we grab some snacks while we're here? Let's go see what snacks we can find. Oh, what are these over here? Little donut bites. Let's do these. That's 
Perfect. Got the goods. These for mum and dad? No? Maybe one pack for mum and dad? No. <laughs> no. Yama. All for you? Yeah, for oh. anyone else. Oh, what? If they can't make it both, get two to me. Oh, really? Well, the goal was to get the treat and to save it, but all the kids... I want a treat. This is not going to be getting saved. Do we have wipes handy actually before I open these? Just because like I know there's going to be sticky hands as soon as they start doing a tactical. Got one? Beautiful. All right, well, I might pass a whole packet back to Did Miller you get and Lee. No, I didn't oh. get me one either. Sorry, go grab them. I'm not, you know, I was. Babe, I said to you, should we wait till we're closer? Oh my gosh. I literally said to you, should I get us coffee away till we're closer? And you didn't answer me, so I was like, I'm guessing. This is Miller and Linky, and this one's yours. Here you go, look. <gasps> Donut ring. Oh, they look so good. Can I just have a bite? Can we have one? Because Regan's gonna want a few. Let me in. <laughs> Yum. Um, I got a little bit of a saliva here in my finger. You want to get a coffee here? I asked you that and you did not answer me, so I was like, obviously he doesn't. Because if he wanted one, he'd be like, yes, get me a coffee. I was letting you do your own direction, you know? Well, I had to go to the toilet and then I grabbed these because it was quick. I was trying to be as quick as I could. I thought coffee's going to take longer. I was going to get you a bottle of wine for 30 for all of that. 30 tomorrow? Crazy. Do you oh, like yeah, it, Rick? Really? Yeah, I was just more, I know. Okay. All right. Like Are you gonna film? You just fart on your way out. Are you gonna bring camera and film? No. Awkward. <laughs> Talk. Do you want more? Okay. Here you go. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. That's exactly why I asked Dad to grab some wipes. Do you want me to pass some back? Or are you still eating? Me. Yeah. You finished the whole packet. You're joking, really? Got the goods. So one thing that I haven't come on here and said yet is why we're actually coming up to Noosa because I think a lot of people are just kind of like assuming it's for my birthday because of the timing of it but there's actually a big family event happening um, my eldest sister is getting married and as you guys know it's been a bit of a different year this year for me and my family um, but I mean relationships are being repaired which is so nice and really amazing um, but then it's kind of like a handful of them are and then a handful of them aren't so obviously I feel very privileged to be invited to my sister's wedding and there's no way that I would want to miss the opportunity to see her walk down the aisle and I also um, you know like it's a huge day that is just like the type of person that I want to be to show up for those huge days no matter what I think that it's really important and you know I want to be there to show them my support and show them you know how happy I am for them but it's also a very difficult task for me to do because there still are um, people that yeah I have not spoken to there's people that are going to be there that you know like we are not on great terms with not only that but i'm the only one in the family invited so i'm going to be going and doing all of this all on my own so anxiety has been quite high surrounding this but i've really tried okay babe the last few days to just kind of like let go and i've like you know i was talking to ashley about it a couple days ago and i was like i have decided that i want to go and that that's the person i want to be and if that's the choice that i want to make then that's just it, you know, like it is what it is. I want to show up, I want to be there. So there's no point in worrying myself, you know, about it. And also I'm just trying really hard to be in the present moment and enjoy these first few days before the wedding happens. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for my sister. I'm so excited for her new, you know, hubby to be that are gonna be getting married. And yeah, I definitely did not want to miss a ceremony. So um, yeah, I'll be I'll be attending that on the last day that we are up here. But yeah, I've just not really spoken about that yet, and I don't know why. It's nothing like you know bad about it. Like I'm like I said, I feel very privileged to be invited to my sister's wedding. But um, as you guys can imagine, it's pretty confronting to go to something like that on your own. But just gonna put on my big girl pants and just do what I think the right thing is, and do something that I'll be proud of in the future to look back on and you know be happy that I actually did go and I didn't let other people get in the way of, you know, missing such a huge milestone um, for my sister who I do want to support and I do want to be there to, you know, see. Also, we tried to make the most out of it and line it up so we could come in for my birthday too because my birthday is tomorrow and then the wedding's two days later on the Wednesday. So yeah, it's worked out really nice, but just got to try to stay in the moment beforehand and, you know, not let anxiety and overthinking things get the better of me. And anyway, I don't know how to even finish talking about this. I feel like it's a very awkward topic. <laughs> You're going backwards. 
<laughs> She's looking up at the roof like this. Stop number two, guys. We're not here yet, guys. We're only like 45 minutes away, but this is the last place. Nearly gonna get some McDonald's, do wheeze and that, and then yeah, we'll be there literally in like 45 more minutes. One more thing I do just want to clarify for the vlog. Do you support me going to the wedding? I don't care. Yeah. I reckon you should go in the long run. Yeah. Of course I do. I'm like, I'm here. Drive all the way up and bring me. I know. I'm very, very lucky to have such a supportive partner. Got Kurt's full support, you know, to do what I feel is right. And Kurt agrees with me. He's like, you should go. Oh, no. Look. We rock him. <laughs> Little monkey man. <laughs> bye bye. We're here, guys. We're here, but. Our room isn't ready yet. Our room's gonna be ready. Hopefully they set around lunchtime, which it is now. So it's pretty much a matter of like, you know, within the next hour or so. Thank you. All right, guys, I think what we're gonna do is just go for a little walk around, have a little look-see, and then before we know it, we'll be going into our room. Sound good? Come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah. See right across the road there, guys? Yeah. That's where we're staying. That's our hotel. Up the top. Down the bottom, I think. So right there, I think we're staying on the the um, garden level. So I think we have like a place for you guys to play. Me of the inspired on the 5G. Nice, <laughs> Here we go, Ben. This is nice. Let's get let's go to the car. Oh, this right there. Beautiful. So nice. Hey, look, we're right here. Here we go. Oh, wow, it's spacious. Yes, yeah, so good. Beautiful. Can we move out the way, guys, so they can get through? Yeah, So good for the kids out here, a little grassy area. Oh, this is Mummy and Daddy's and Reggie's room. Oh, what? Perfect. What a spa bar. Wow. I'll definitely be enjoying one of those on my 30th birthday with a glass of champagne. <laughs> this is your room, Milo and Linky. Wow. It's actually really pretty, like out the window. Look at all the beautiful garden. So nice. Hey, you like it? Huge guys. On the photos, it looked like it was a decent size, which is why I got it, because it's only two bedroom with five of us. It is literally massive. This is a life, Linky. Are you excited? Oh, yeah, there's another door here. Yeah, I love it here. All right, guys, just pulling out the necessities, the toaster and the kettle. We've actually packed with us too, a whole heap of food just for the kids to make it nice and easy. And Kurt and I also brought some U Foods meals too to make it also nice and easy for us to so like say if one night we don't want to go out and get food or something like that we've just got like a nice healthy easy meal here ready to go but i think we're gonna leave today's vlog here guys we are just gonna be hanging out settling in i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow